Hello, and good evening. Welcome to Goosebumps. It's part of my Steam cleaning series. I go through all the games in my Steam library, eventually. And this one uh, was apparently uh, based on the movie in 2015. I haven't seen the movie, but uh, Goosebumps. I know there was a TV show and a popular kid series. I didn't read a lot of them. I was into uh, more fantasy novels than horror novels. But uh, yeah, I don't know what this is. But there was a warning at the front saying this is going to be a scary game. So if you have a weak constitution when it comes to scares, be aware. New game. Name your character. Spooky. No. Yeah, spooks. Spooks. Uh, we are a lady. This guy creeps me out. We better get a big tip. If you're that concerned, maybe try not to drop his stuff. Hey, for all we know, the lock got bust before I dropped it. I heard that before. Whatever, just finish packing up this junk. I'll head back for the rest. Sales moving truck. Who hires a moving company to move out in the middle of the night anyway? Just be glad someone did. We needed the job. Huh, so what about that girl? Should I call her or not? The toll booth operator? You ain't got a chance. Eh, it's probably the best anyway with what with our on the well sorry I went too fast say you ever get creeped out driving late at night like this what do you mean oh you know it's late everyone's sleep just gotta be things that slink out from the shadows better not be about the haunted car again it's real real maybe but not haunted well it seemed haunted at the time you can't scare me off with that story. Already heard it a million times. Well, good. That's not even my hairiest adventure. You see this one, Evil Genie? Heard that one. Okay, well... Zombies? Guess I told you a lot of these. Well, you don't gotta talk the whole time and you... Oh, I can't read that. What was that? So you gonna open it? Oh, I ain't open it. You're the one with all the scary adventures. There's so much weird stuff in there. You saw it. Just open the door already. I can't see anything. Satisfied? It looks like you got a new tale of horror. Night of the tipped over box. Not funny. Oh, there is something there. What is it? Some kid? No, it's a ventriloquist dummy. Oh, ha, ha, ha. What? It's just a ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> Who you calling a dummy, dummy? Scared yet? The next day, off center. Finally, school's out for the day and you're ready for a pleasant walk home. The clouds look pretty bad though. Was it supposed to rain today? You go check the weather, but your cell phone appears to be missing. You must have left it somewhere, but where? You can examine your environment by moving the cursor to an object or area, pressing left mouse button, then choosing to look at the drop down. Look. Drop image. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You can look, yep. Yeah. Look. You eat lunch with your friends on this planter. It's surprisingly comfortable. Look. It's a bike rack. You prefer walking school, you can take a shortcut to the woods. Push. You push the bike rack. It doesn't push back. No. Can I keep pushing it? How, how, can I just... Alright, up from there. Look at the sky. Great clouds. Tree. I told you the sun clouds are least in this tree inspiration. Called chemistry. It's pretty good. You need a truck to budge that trunk. Look at the bushes. Part the branch up here inside. Nope, your phone's not here. Can you go to school? Look. Doors in the school building. Kids are turning out of it moments ago. They're probably halfway home by now. Yep, alright. Let's go back in there. Move. Heavy side, you charge back inside. Yeah, for my car. Oh, this is a nasty hallway. Vote! Math! Fight! Those are the three things you learn at school. How to vote, how to fight, and how to math. The long empty hallway stretches in the distance. You stop in your locker, trust the old 402. Open. Shouldn't be too hard, just need a key from your book bag. Use key. You can lock five books and easy. Slide off and open your lock. Take cell phone. Every cell phone created protected against your chest. You're afraid you lost it. 
Remember to calm down and check the phone. Yep, it's still fully charged somehow. Looks like you have a new voicemail. Click play. Hi, Spooks, it's Mom. Just wanted to let you know I'll be home later on tonight. The clients want to make us dinner. Chad should be home pretty soon. You show you two will need to fend for yourselves. Remember the keys are in the back steps. Love you. Books. Stickers. Only thing more permanent tattoos are stickers. Stick carefully. Take book. You have a few books out of locker, really much space like in your bed. You feel like you might need bag space, but the book's back where you go. More stickers. No, we can't take the books. No, they're all stickers. Didn't need for homework. Alright. Done. Can you sign lock or shut? Multiple ways to move between areas, try holding down the arrow keys exit hallway. Classroom is serious, less ways to feel like going right now. Look. Having lockers that close to math is more curious than a blessing. You end up seeing a lot of Miss Thule. Stairs, maybe? Open. Can you check out tomorrow? It's, it's home time. Trash. It's tr locker. It's happened day. Roger forgot his locker combination. Fortunately, I remember. Insert key turn. Look. Paper. Take paper. Let me now take the paper. Oh, it looks like a note. The item was added to your inventory. Use. Look. Reads, hey, you found my note. I hope that you would. Sometimes people see notes in the hall and just assume they're trash. Not you, though. Okay. Right. Outside. Might leave the school building for the second time today. Head home. Also... You walk through the gates of the parking lot. So it's a bit of an adventure game. The, nearly, the school's parking lot is nearly empty as most of the school's gone home. You can faintly hear the full team practicing in the distance, though. Slime. That slime is not normal. Your mind races aliens, invasion, or zombies. What could it be? You must have some courage to go for a closer look. Oh, just someone's old milkshake. Really, really old milkshake. Open. Gross. Look. Small old milk. Push. Ugh. Car. Look. Too young to drive. Street. Woods. Look. It's the rough janitor shed. I can't be sure. Head to the janitor shed. By the time you shed, the winds picked up quite a bit. Your cheeks sting from the cold. Take the weed killer. Carefully set the weed in your bag, checking and set it off. Tools. Leave the tools outside. Tools. Look. Padlock the ancient cupboard and rust. Hit. Ouch. Same fist along with bloody knuckles. Open. You knock on the structure. You wait a moment, but the no response. Guess he's not home. He doesn't live in the shed. Alright. Well, we got weed killer. So when doing adventure games, I, I tend to save. Do I really need to save? Is this a game where you can die? Save. Yes. Move. You walk up the you hike up the well worn path into the woods. Ah, uh, there's sights in the woods. The path leads over a bridge and turns into some trees. Take the flyer. Lost dog Gigi. Fletcher case you find similar dog. Rocks. Can't take a rock. Bushes. Put a few spiders. The creek ripples through the woods. Let's go through the creek. Wait. Happily splash around the creek. Your socks, your shoes, socks, and pants are soaked. Hmm. You already smell kind of funny now. Bridge. Sturdier than it looks. Tastes entire childhood. Oof. Cross the bridge and head deeper into the woods. Uh, you don't look so good there, buddy. Small clearing surrounded by trees. There's a weird kicking around. You've never seen him before. Look. Guy th around 30, but there's something off about his clothes. Turning will make eye contact. Take closely. You notice his hair is green and kind of leafy. You see bugs crawling beneath his clothes. Talk. You start to ask me his last week, grounds didn't tell me. Use weed killer on man. You on hunch, you raise the weed killer and pump the trigger three times, spraying the strange figure. He recoils violently as his face. Smoke rises and wounds as you smell something freshly cut grass. He retreats to the foot of the hill before falling down, cowering. Look. He doesn't seem to smother anymore. His covered face is long, but his trembling. Talk. He doesn't seem in a particularly interesting conversation moment. 
Left path, right path. Oh, no, it's just trees. Hill. All right. Right path. There's a clearing ahead with a really cool tree. Maybe we should take a look. All right. Cut the trees to travel further into the woods. You reach the big tree and take a nice deep breath. Ah, oh, the air in the spot smells cleaner somehow. Dirt's been disturbed recently. Dig. You try to dig with your right hands, but it's tightly packed dirt. All right. Spooky tree. Canopy. All right, so we gotta come back. Head back. He's still cowering. Best to ignore him. If you get into the, uh, if you at least crunch on your feet, watch on If you can get into the shed, we make, oh, hey, it's the uh, investigation team. It's the end of the woods. You can get neighbors just up the hill. Looks like there's some kind of commotion in the tunnel. We asked what's going on, but Tyler, Ashley, just glares at you. Mind your own business, spooks. Ashley, large drain pipe. This thing's old size. You look for a way to crawl, but it's not happening. Thought it was clear, Tyler. Get, we got found it first. Get lost. All right. Hold of the flyer. Have you seen this dog? Short brown fur, about seven years old? Nothing. It's large steps. You hug up the slope to your neighborhood. Most of me think you step in the neighborhood. Your spirits follow me when you notice an accident down the street. The road is completely blocked. You'll need to find a different way around. Look. The van, we got an accident. The back's open, box are spilled out into the street. Hurry over the wrecking movie van. Peer inside the van and see tons of boxes along with odds and ends. It crashed and seemed to damage anything. That's a drive through the back of your neck. Canister or something. Keep your distance. The glow doesn't bode well. Shrunken head. Coffin. Open it? Uh, what's this? No. Top hat. A scarecrow. Globe. Spin it. Wind up and spin the globe with mighty slab. It spins and spins. Spin, spin. Transylvania. Spooky. Some Nazca books. I have PDF of the stuff. Boring stuff. Alright. I'm not going to steal just yet. Slide. They shouldn't be there and creep away. Hose. Hurry down with the woods. So I have to go through the tunnel? Oh, hey, bunny. Partly just below nearby, but the creek blows through. Look. Small white rabbits. Roaring camera seems wary of you. You kneel down and look at the rabbits. Like, hey there, little fella. Amazo. Huh, says the rabbit. Was right. I thought those brutes would never leave. The flash of white rabbits appears in the bush. Hold your nose. It's a long tunnel. Take your voice to see in the water. Human tunnel, an unnatural darkness closing around. Halfway through, you wonder if you'll make it. Pipe, water, hole. You appear in the darkness, it's not like the ocean. Jump. Running start, you dive into the big black hole. You fall for what seems like hours. Falling, falling, falling. This might have been a mistake. <laughs> Alright, I died. Alright. At least I should restart quickly. Steal your nerves and push on. The water runs behind many of the houses in the street. You can usually find all sorts of weird junk people thrown out here. Take the shoe. Sliding spinning your hands and on the elements, pick up the shoe. Spin the wheel. You hear the hub of the wheel and spin in your hands. Seems fine. It clicks and everything. Bricks, chimney. How does a chimney get down here? Hop across the rocks, far and stroll your neighborhood. Whoa! Why do you have a black widow on there? What the heck? You take several large guys trying to calm down. That dog attacked as soon as you enter your neighborhood. Thank goodness on a leech. Uh, look. Woman doesn't look familiar. Maybe she's new in town. She's extremely formal for someone walking her dog. Talk. You nervously sell a little woman. Who turns into dinner. Sorry about the dog. She looks to have given you quite a fright. Oh, huh. That's okay. I'm Spooks. What's your name? Foster. Miss Foster has uncomfortable silence. This is a town of yours. It's very quiet. What a shame something were to startle and awake. She chuckles. Fifi is no more dangerous than her handler, my dear. Now, if you excuse us, Miss Forrester and Fifi continue their walk down the street. 
the mailboxes. You shouldn't open up your mailboxes. Yep. There was something you didn't open. We got mail. Take. Take the letter out of the mailbox. Take the coupons. Letter in your mailbox. You don't know the name is from past present. Use. Consider opening the letter, but it's not It's not addressed to you. All right. Shut the mailbox. Neighbors, move. Move further down the street. Stand from what used to be your house. Used to be your house. The large house reached up towards the ominous skies. Twisted windows, portal, and manas. The address is yours, but definitely not your home you left this morning. Okay, so our house is gone. That's not good. So the knob is not budging. You may as well try your house key just in case. Uh, look. Come the street and back to the street. Where was the... Where was the key? Climb the tree. Reach out with a nice grab and then place one foot against the trunk, push upwards, but slide right down. The park is entirely slick. Uh, house. Look, door is twice the house key was still working. I don't have my house key. Uh, use. Oh, the cell phone's remaining. It's crashing. Uh, no. Call your mom. Tell the mother on the phone rings twice before she picks up. Oh, I was just about to call you and me and your brother. You do remember we kept our spare key under the porch, right? Oh, of course you do. Oh, you're not beaming. We're sorry, hon. She hangs up. Under the porch? How do I... Under the porch. Huh. Is there like a tab to highlight? Window won't budge. Look at the windows. Windows kind of look something screaming. Maybe mom is going on all off Halloween this year. Wash. Oh, this is the wash? Huh. Alright, I'm missing something here. Two star mansion. Normally would be pretty awesome, but sitting where your normal boring house is supposed to be. Coupon, great deals at the moment. Shoe. Use shoe on door. No. Upstairs, look. Two wicked looking stone guards keep watch over the master bedroom. Assume it's still the master bedroom window though, apparently I think it's possible. Alright. Oh, oh, that's a kind of a nice little map. Tunnel, tunnel. Crash moving van. Can I not warp? Can I warp there? Can I what? No, can't warp. Huh. Neighbors, fence, ah, backyard. What are the weirdness in your neighborhood? Your backyard provides a welcome retreat, peaceful, quiet blankets with enclosure. Look, look and hold. Crouch down, lean your head on the porch, better look. Shake. If you get the cola, can't shake and listen to this prepare key claims, so I don't know when it falls out. Take the key. Grill. Look at the grill. This is a Charmeister Elite Ultimate Grilling System. Take the toy truck. Take the spade. 
He's a dinosaur. Search the sandbox. Nothing of interest. Swing. Uh, you giddily run up and jump on the tire. It flies forward and you lean back. Close your eyes. Campbell shouting, we. The moment passes, you roughly lower yourself to the ground. You, you hold the swing until the stuff's moving step away. Life's so much more complicated now. All right. So I kind of want to take a quick rush. Back out. Out. He's still chilling there. Move. Whoa! A very large creature here. This seems to be creating as a room for plus yes. Uh, look, it's a very large part of creature find that room. Plus some razor sharp teeth. I want to talk to you. Hey! You're it, the beach house. Uh, Exc I excited to play game. Can't wait. So hungry. Uh, use throw the shoe. Hold the old shoe for a moment before the beast swipes it away. Chuckling swipes your arms too. It looks like you lost your game with the beast of the east. Don't feel too bad. It's horrible adversary. I'll retry. Well, I can't do anything with that. Oh, I wish I could teleport. You know, with a lot of these venture games, it's important to give players fast move, fast travel. Right, move, no. Move. Alright, house key. Use on door. Really? Why would that be like that? Why would that be like that? Use. Oh, you slip the house key into the lock. Crush your fingers. You're in the key and the door opens. Maybe it's your house after all. Nope, we'll have a door into the house. So without a doubt, not your house. Mom would never let the entryway get this dirty. You can smell the dust and decay in the air. House plant, portraits, strange portrait on the wall. They're not anyone you recognize. Archway, stairs. All right. Let's go right. The door stands totally shut. You can feel a strange energy on it. It seems locked for the time being. Stairs. There are some of the stairs. The rooms unknown. Staircase. That's the first, second floor of the house. Never seen this portrait. It's a creepy sea captain. Something's missing from this painting. Yeah, it's head. Little girl. Tromp up the stairs to the first hallway. Stand upstairs hallway, which seems relatively untouched. End table. Familiar family photo, camping, end table, end table, nothing, right. move. Dad's study is locked, like it's always been out there on the key around here somewhere. It's not even locked, but it's not open. It feels like someone's on our side holding it shut. Go away. Go away. All right, well, we're finding stuff out. Uh, hi. Yikes, three children materialize before your eyes, which are rub rubbing to sleep. This is a really haunted house. Blonde boy, young boy, angry girl. Talk. No sooner do you look in her direction than she starts shouting. You're not supposed to be here. Get out of my house. Strangers aren't allowed. Go away, go away, go away. She glares, willing you out of existence. Can't fool me, she grabbles. I was born on a leap year. I know things. Uh, talk. Boy mumbles quietly as you approach. I want to hear the song, but I can't find it. He digs his foot in the carpet nervously. If I look, it'll wake mom and dad. Uh, Try to get attention this way. I live here, you know. I hate going in the basement. He looks away, embarrassed. After a moment, he continues. You believe me, don't you? All right. You're already across the foyer in the dining room. Well, hello. 
He's up in the dining room and spring back immediately, noticing a woman at the table. She eyes you intently, like a hot hawk searching for prey. A toothy grin spreads across the woman's face before she speaks. There you are, spooks. Come give me a big kiss. Uh, no way. Taken back by her forward request, you aren't sure what to say. You shake your head. Oh, is that any way to treat your Aunt Delilah? Suspicious. Something just isn't right about her. I don't have an Aunt Delilah. But of course you do. I'm a distant relative. We haven't visited since you were very little. Uh, Mom would have mentioned you, and she never has. Who are you really? Well, of course she wouldn't. I'm from your father's side of the family. Don't budge. Sorry, lady. I don't have any idea who you are. Harmph. I'll be waiting here when you learn some manners. Deco plates. Take. Take all these plates. No? Decorative plates. Candles. Portrait. Cup. Prune juice. Uh, I'm not going to... Should I drink the prune juice? It's good for you. Next room. Den is where the family gathers to watch TV or just hang out together. You won't want to hang out in this version too long, though. That's a creepy picture. There's something deeply unsettling about pictures hanging on the wall. Look. Couch these other days. Sit. Ah, uh, then I push it. You lean back into the cushion support you. This is life. Realizing you're still inside a darkly green version of your house, you snap out of your coffee table. Sturdy coffee table. Take the remote. Play a game. Aren't there enough video games in your life right now? Take the fill. Take the fill away for safekeeping. Test the bookshelf. You push and pull several books towards your passage, but no such luck. You find most you found was paper cuts. You slide so many horses off the shelf and into your collection. So many horses! <coughs> you open the book in approximately a center and then slam it shut as hard as you can. Your thoughts drift to horses. It's true. Examine the clock. You move in front for a closer look at the clock. Oh, it's like years. Little tabs seems more different years to demonstrate how the clock really is. Eighty-five, eighty-six. Pendulum turned back, but measured right. It's not actually moving. This clock is impressively built. Definitely a type of thing that stays down the generation. But who family brought it here? 88, 89, 90, 91, 94, 95, 6, 97, 98, 99, 6, 97, 98, look, 92, 93, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, right, nothing I can do here. Laundry room, oh good. Laundry room is oddly welcome sight. First last beer exactly left it other than the extra door. The dryer's running at the moment. Open. Open. There we go, we have the outdoor open. Put in the handle, it won't budge. Look. Dryer's running suddenly like something inside. You can't tell what it is through the window. A oh, cord. No. Can I unplug it? Apply detergent, take detergent, take the dryer sheets, smell the basket, ugh, open the, oh, you open the door, you can find what the new room could be, alright, move, and step away from your normal safe laundry room, okay, stand in front of the infinity, uh okay don't 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 you drift away that was weird that's the living room no in bathroom slash knocking door there's no response Alright. Uh, huh. Alright, 
let's look at our map. All right, so red must mean there's something going on. Left hallway. No, there's something there. Was there? Can I go out this way? So no weird continuums there. Dan, feel the carpet, soft and comfortable. The hallway, strange ladies there. Oh, kitchen looks like a very piece something to do with it. You immediately know it's dripping sound. Strange to hear, strange to hear the source of dripping is so faint to be hard to find. You struggle to think of ways to make it louder. You track down the drip machine, see if it's volume. Very modern, safe for such a different kitchen. If you're in the drain, lean to the garbage well, There's something else down there. Something shiny. From the drawer. Ooh, take the talisman. Ward off some weirdness. Just grab a random talisman. Open the dishwasher. Open it would only bring you chores into stark relief. There will be time for that later. Look at the blender. Look at the toaster. Uh, look at the fridge. Incredibly green. Open. Look at the purple stuff. Large bottle of juice. Not sure drinking stain. Old lady. Jelly jam. Trust jelly jam for the best jellies and jam. Take... Take. Can I close it? Oh, I'm gonna leave it open. Now I feel terrible. Cupboard, peanut butter, purple PB. Purple peanut butter. Feel the counter. Slide your hand across the counter to confirm. Yep, laminate. You got a lot of items. And there's still more to go this way, right? Yeah. Hallway, hallway. No. Is this a different hallway? Oh, someone closed the fridge. Or hallway, hallway. Hmm. Is there a secret passageway? Ghosts. Downstairs. Stairs. Lie on the stairs face on let go. You slide all the way down the stairs. It's bumpy ride, but there's nothing like it. Uh, you want music, you are just upset. Left hall? Right hall. Furthest reach of the house. Portraits. Kids of all look extremely familiar. Wall frame. Adventure. You try pushing a pile and door will not open. Move there. Past the next room, dodging a bit of falling plaster is past the doorway. Whoa, it's just dead end. Hatch the ceiling should lead to the outer. The wall, walls just moved. Back door is too high to reach. You hear a dull grinding around you, something from the walls? Leave the room. All right. Weird. Brother. Dial your brother's number. Just a busy signal. Call. Info. You dial 4-1. Home information. Chirpy voice begins to play. Thank you for calling information. 
Dear Vice President of Large Hellbaum, all our operators are busy. Please use our automated system to seek out the answer to your question. Inventory. Your inventory is valuable. Keep your stuff. Yep. Uh, selection. Should it nationalize and get the area? So obviously, left click, look, E. Uh, all right, hang up. Call mom? Tell your mother if won't rejoice, Spooks up. Hi there, Spooks. Make sure you check the mail. Expecting something for her father's birthday. Please take a look in the mailbox when you walk by. Thanks so much. She hangs up. Letter from Elizabeth must be past resident. All right. Do I give this to someone? No. You want to take one simple. You can't have it. Locked my room. That's not funny. You. All right. He takes the envelope eagerly, confirming his name and the address. He tears it open, reaching for the letter with much interest. Yeah. Oh. Oh God. He's disappearing. He reaches the end. Ghost looks to you and smiles. He seems to be at peace. Just as suddenly he's appeared, the child fades out of view. Reveal his presence, leave the house gently. A moment later, the basement door unlocks the resounding click. Luck. I wonder what photograph to take. Basement door. Ooh, yes, go to the basement. The basement is dark and musty. Swelter and heat builds the furnace, kicks on. You won't be down here long if necessary. Decorations. Take the portrait. Frame. Turn the vice. Turn the vice. Whoa. Panel hidden passageway. Search the toolbox. Screwdriver. Take the toolbox. Too big. Open the closet. Take the hanger. Take the step ladder. Furnace. Enter the furnace. Nope. So much nope. Crawl through the passage. Is this more into the unknown? Stand on the foot of it. Okay, so this is how I warp? Ah, uh, okay. So there is some warping allowed. Oh, this dryer's done. Clean. Reach in and grab all the fuzzy lunch on. There's no trash can space you can put on the floor. Look. Dryer's empty. Uh, all right, well. Is there a step? Oh, uh, yeah. So I want to go to the chute. It's open. No. Oh. All right. Living room. Hallway. Creepy lady. Over there. Okay, hold on. Let's go back here. I want to use my wire hanger on Carlos. Well, carefully bend the hanger into a hook. You manage to space. Free yourself four or five times. Thread the hook into the disposal drain. Remove the outer inside. It's a key. Place in your pack. Study key. Yep. Strange woman still there. So there's a little bit of warping allowed, but I would really go for some more. Use key on the study. The study. All right. The study feels set apart from the rest of the house. Everything being made a sense of wood, uh, like oak or mahogany. Take the rook. Papers, where these specimens stream reading. To whom it may concern, on the eve of the last Friday, I had the indifferent pleasure of dining at your establishment on one one walk the tiger. While the service had ownership was adequately typical of the venues of this ilk, so I would not deny you to tell you your business. That said, the troubling quality was your food. I ordered the Malang chicken, and it was my go-to item on your menu. And while the dish was the most part pleasantly uneventful, the pedendum 
Penultimate piece of fried fall was quite curious. I suppose there's no delicate way to put this, so I'll be blunt. It was shaped like a giraffe. I was so tickled by this occurrence, I waited an embarrassingly long time for a devour. Then I left my car and was half an hour before. Sh who should startle awake in the back of my seat but my grandfather? It seems I forgot entirely he wanted to come here to dinner. We've been planning for weeks. Believe me, he is just that person amused by the rat shaped chicken. Closing, I would like to ask a particular chicken as a tender element of the dish I've never noticed prior. It was intentional, considering the formal request of the draft chicken lined up for next Thursday. I will be returning for my grandfather and plan in time for him to join me at the restaurant. When you roll an affirmation mix up, I believe it's to be a reasonable looking custard. Thank you for understanding. Theodore M. Ingram. That was weird. Use the computer. You have the keyboard waking up this watch. You're going to have to need a password to use the computer. Read the note. I always remember my password in the bathroom. Oh, film. Poster. Fan. Read the novel. Flip to this page. Fairly serious depression. The year had taken its toll. He moved across the room to the chair where he spent most of his time these days. Sitting, he stared ahead of the same view he saw every day. This was his reality now. Room chair view. He had a chance to look at his watch 3.33 p.m. February 29th, 2004. That year. This year, 2004. He wondered if he could only read his year from Canada like never existed. Would things be different? Thin book. One more ghost. Frequently. Blah, blah. Thin, thick book. Some legends of Gariel, Slava transferred to stone, Liam Pace spent this happening. All rock diet. On the bookshelf, you testing your solid foothold, you begin your ascent, turn back over when you fan, nearly removes your head. Read the manual. First, place batteries in the back of the player. Second, offer the cassette door. Alright. Rug look. Play the piano. Chopsticks. The window. those papers they're different papers but same story yep 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 all right I don't know that didn't seem to garner much hmm all right well I'm gonna call this a wrap soon, and what I'm gonna to do to do that, I'm going to go into the archway here. I'm gonna drink this prune juice. Drink. Plug your nose, take a big gulp of glass. It goes down easy than expected. After a moment, your vision glows cloudy. Wave is soft and wash over you. Feel fairly weak. Wrinkles stretch across your arms and hands. You struggle to think way out, but you're just so tired. Maybe you'll come up with an idea tomorrow. You lie down on the floor, ready for a nice long nap. We have died. The end. Game over. Don't drink prune juice. <laughs>